Hello everybody, how are you? We're here in Columbus, Ohio, continuing this series of videos on communities around the area. And this one is going to be on Amlin, A-M-L-I-N. Now, Amlin has an interesting background because it's uh, such an old town and, uh, well, community, I guess is a better way to put it. Now, Amlin is on the northwest side, sort of uh, north of Hilliard, south of Shawnee Hills, right in that type of area, a little bit uh, near Dublin. Dublin's a better known, uh, higher profile community. But Amlin has its uh, really fascinating background, so let's go through it. So now, Amlin was founded in 1850, settled in 1840. Uh, not quite as current as some of the other areas around here where it goes back farther. Ohio, surprisingly old. I mean, uh, I understand it's the beginning of the uh, ventures out west for a lot of people. Ohio, in fact, Ohio was part of the north, what they would, what they called the Northwest Territory. If you can imagine, it sounded like it was, it sounded like Alaska, but it was basically, you know, uh, Detroit. <laughs> so, uh, Amlin is cool because it was named after the, uh, first mayor who, and in fact, was one of the, one of the first female mayors, uh, in the United States back in those days, back in the mid to late 1800s. So, uh, Lynn Schwartzville, Schwartzville, uh, was the mayor. Now, well, you said, why did they name the town after the mayor? Wouldn't, wouldn't there be a town that you'd run for mayor? Yes. <laughs> and uh, way back in the day, they called themselves Dud Dublin Edge, which, which, which was uh, short for Dublin adjacent because there really wasn't enough there to call it a community. So the, you'd say to somebody, where do you live? I'll take you home. You've had too many cocktails here at the Bogey Inn. It looks like you need a ride. Uh, I live in Dublin Edge. And they're like, oh, man, all the way down there. All right, let's get in the car. You know, so, so it, it didn't even have its own community name. But Lynn Schwartzville said, listen, uh, if you if you wanted to raise the uh, profile of this town, I'm the person, okay? Because I've lived in Dublin Edge all my life, and I'm sick of it too. Pete, nobody knows what it really is, if they, unless they're either they are Dublin Edge or they're from Dublin. And we want people from all over Central Ohio and Ohio, if not the country, to know about this community. So here's what I propose. We change the name of the town, as I will suggest, and then I run for mayor of the town and win, and I can then market the town across all areas of publicity known at that time, which was newsletters, riding the horses around the area, proclaiming the independence of Amlin from the former name of Dublin Edge. So she, uh, so Lynn, Sch Lynn Schwartzville ran a campaign for mayor of a town that she proposed be named after her. Now, I know that's kind of hard to follow, but remember, it's the mid to late 1800s. Uh, things were not quite, you know, they didn't have pollution in the air yet. And so they 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 had so much oxygen going to their brain, they just thought in, they just thought in linear terms. And uh, so she said the campaign was, I am Lynn. I am Lynn. That's what it said on all of the billboards. That's what it said on all of the signs in people's front yards. Uh, and then down below, down below, it said uh, Lynn Schwartzville for mayor of town of Lynn, of, of I am Lynn. So that was her platform. Let's create a town called Amlin, and I'm going to run a campaign called I Am Amlin. And then down below it says Lynn Schwartzville for uh, Amlin Mayor. I know that's sort of a loop-de-loop, -loop, but that's how it went down, guys. And Dublin Edge 
was no more. Dublin adjacent was no more. And it became Amlin. And the first mayor was one of the first female mayors in the United States. And that was Lynn Schwartzville. Now, why didn't it, uh, if that was such an amazing thing, why didn't it uh, take on a, how come I've never heard of Amlin, you're saying? If, if that was the idea, it was to promote, to promote the area. Well, listen, uh, politics is dirty business. And uh, Fred Worcester-Smith, Worcester-Smith, the guy that ran against her, he was outraged that, a, a, a woman ran for office, and B, that he lost to her. Well, hey, woke up and smell the future, dude. Uh, take your butt hurt cream and uh, apply it because women are here and women are, uh, you know, achieving and part of society. And it will get, and it will grow. It's, so uh, he he started a uh, deep state backdoor, back channel campaign against her. And basically did a dirty tricks campaign, slinging mud at her from uh, behind closed doors, from, from behind her back. But, you know, that also was a foreshadow of uh, American politics for the next 200 years to come. But nonetheless, uh, so Amlin didn't quite get the level of uh, respect and visibility that it deserved, despite her best efforts. And there also was a feeling that Am Lin, I am Ann Lin, it seemed to be a little bit focused uh, more on her and her personality, which, which she admits had a, she has a strong personality, rather than the town itself. But, you know, what? They were going to stick with Dublin Adge, Dublin adjacent? Uh, come on. Uh, how's that going to go? What, what's the slogan, slogan going to be? Drive your Jag to Dublin Edge. You know, it's an upscale income neighborhood. Drive your Jag to up Dublin, you know, forget it. Whereas M. Lynn, okay, now you've got something to work with. Unfortunately, it uh, worked to a certain extent. It's a viable community to this day, but it just didn't reach that international recognition they all wanted. Guys, that's a quick snapshot look at Amlin. We're going to have so many more communities, uh, spotlights and, and backgrounds. We're going to tell you how to meet people if you're single in these areas, how to meet single people. There's a lot of different techniques you can use. We're going to look at uh, other things going on, things you can only do in each of these communities that are unique to that to that area, which is, which is a good thing to know in case you're looking for something unique and different to do. We're going to have... We're going to expose those to the world. In other words, we're just getting the word out about these great communities and come back for more. This has been a Joe Nitzel parody.